Hey guys, it's Dizzy here, and uh, today we're going to be looking at how to configure the general settings for shadowed unit frames. Now, here I am, and I just zoned in the game with a completely fresh installation of shadowed unit frames. So these are the dummy frames I see, and this is what all of you are going to see when you just install this add-in. So I'm going to go ahead and click lock, lock frames, and that'll just get rid of all the extra frames. And uh, I want to go ahead and start setting up this add-in. You know, I want to type in slash SUF, and that'll bring up the uh, configuration panel for it. And I'm going to check advanced here so I can see all the extra settings for the frames. And that'll let me really fine tune it and tweak it to be exactly how I want. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to enable all the units that I'm going to be using in Arena and disable all the ones that I won't. So for example, we don't care about the boss frame or the party frame because we're going to be using raid frames and arena frames instead. Uh, you can't use the other ones. So right here I disabled... I disabled all the unneeded frames and enabled the needed ones. And what I want to do is I want to go ahead and click Unit Configuration and Global to enable the basic rules for all the frames out there. So I'm going to go ahead and check all of these. And now I'm going to try to set up the ground rules for all the frames, how I want them to behave. So since we're going to be doing Arena, we don't really care about portraits at all. I mean, we can see the class color with the class color the uh, health bars and so I'm gonna go ahead and uncheck that. Now I do want to see the range indicator. I'm gonna set it to 50% and what this does is for example when I click the Stormwind Guard here it it makes it a little bit transparent when they're out of range and this is pretty useful to see you know if you're out of range for heals or something like that. Okay the next thing I want to do is I want to disable combat text because uh, Combat text is just, it scrolls all these numbers over the frames and you won't really get a chance to look at it when you're actually playing Arena and it's just going to be extra uh, information you really can't use. Okay, now I want to enable cast bars for all of these and I want to uncheck show spell rank because there are no more ranks in the Cataclysm and let's go ahead and enable auras for all of these. Let's set this to bottom right and let's make it 4 and hit enter per row, 1 max row, and again 4 and 1 max row here, and uncheck enlarge yours. The reason I'm doing this is so when we bring up the configuration and you'll see it lock up, we're, we're not overwhelmed by like a million billion different uh, kind of uh, buffs and debuffs. All right. So let's go ahead and click indicators under unit configuration global and let's go ahead and uncheck all of these just make sure all of these are unchecked and this will basically turn off all these extra tiny things that have absolutely no bearing in arena but you know show up and maybe might confuse you once in a while or, or might obstruct some information you need to see. So we're almost done let's go ahead and configure what text we want to show on the frames. Now, it's usually a good idea to show the name, but we don't really care about whether they're AFK or not. So let's go ahead and uh, make it just the name, unit name here. And it's just the name. Now for the uh, health bar, what I like to see is I just like to see the current HP and nothing else. So I'm going to delete all of that and I'm going to click current HP short. And it'll just show the current HP there. For the power bar, let's go ahead and delete all the text on the left side of it. And for the right side, let's go ahead and put it as a current power. Sure. And there we go. And basically, we set up the ground rules for all of our frames. As you see, every frame is basically set up like that, except there's a whole bunch of raid frames showing. But that's all right. Okay.